with me today. I have an exciting day for myself planned. Gotta hype myself up, right? Okay, <laughs> I actually just had Alex pick up, can you even see, my Target order that I ordered last night. And he said as the lady was pulling the cart, you know, to the, it was a drive up order, and he's like, dang, that lady ordered a bunch of stuff, and then I guess the Target lady handed her just one bag, and then she rolls to Alex, and Alex is like, I'll just take it here, and she was like, no, it's all this. <laughs> he had no idea that it was time. Time to get your life together. So that's what I'm doing today, little by little, okay? Piece by burning piece, I'm striving to get my life. Will I ever reach the peak? Probably not, but I did get some baskets in order to do that for my closet a couple for uh, the kitchen, a couple more for some toy storage down by the sand, and oh my gosh, I went to Ikea, so I have to put some drawers together today, that's for Alex, and then a linen closet. There, I just have a lot to put together, a lot to eat, I wanna make lunch with you, and also breakfast, I have a breakfast casserole recipe, and then a beef and bean taquito, so we're gonna throw some food together and eat it, and I also have some clothes to share with you. If you're wondering, Kim, where on earth did you get these pants? Well, I got them from ThreadUp, and this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. Huge thanks to them for supporting me. Massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. It means a lot. I have—I always share whenever I get an order from ThreadUp, which is an online thrift store and consignment store. It's really the only thrift store shopping that I've been doing lately because yeah, I've always got kids running around. It's easier to scroll my phone, and ThreadUp is really easy to navigate. So if I'm looking for something specific like workout clothes, I got a lot of workout clothes, more leggings that fit me, uh, pants that always impress. These are Lily Pulitzer. The top is loft and the estimated retail value on the top is $59, but I got it for 16. They always have awesome sales going on and I have a deal for you, so I'll share what that is in a couple of minutes. But I'm always impressed by what I find from ThreadUp. Not only do they have clothes, they have, well, first of all, all kinds of clothes. High-end clothes for a really affordable price, like Lily Pulitzer, are you joking? They have a Lily Pulitzer store near me, but never have I ever walked into that place because holy cow, expensive. But on ThreadUp, I can totally afford it. Plus, I'm saving the environment, shopping secondhand. I'm saving my money. I'm saving my sanity because I can do it all from the comfort of my home and have it shipped straight to my door. They have all the measurements on the website, so if you're wondering, oh, I don't know if that's gonna fit me, pull out the tape measure and measure yourself, and that's how what I do all the time, especially with pants. Leggings are a little easier, although I always like to go high rise on those, and I always make sure, because ThreadUp always has the measurements, this is it an 11 inch rise and it'll tell you exactly when you click on the product how big it is and all that stuff so i really like that and it's really easy to navigate if i'm looking for specific pieces like a hat oh my i got a hat i'll share that with you so yes they sell hats they have accessories they have handbags they have shoes they have clothes for not only adults but teens as well and kids baby clothes are on there so i really encourage you to check them out and i'm going to share a few pieces that i got with you it's hard to pick out what I want to show you because I got so many amazing pieces. This top is Ann Taylor and really most of my closet is like from thread up. But the estimated retail value of this top is $59, but I got it for 10, 10 bucks. It's like great quality in this sleeve. Let me show you another. I get most of my workout clothes from thread up. I also got 99% of my maternity clothes from thread up. I love that they carry the higher end quality brands that I know are quality. So these are Fabletics, the leggings, the top is also Fabletics. I found a nice crop top, unbelievable prices. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. So the top, Fabletics, estimated retail $48, but I snagged it for a cool 16. Leggings are also Fabletics, uh, estimated retail value is $48, but I snagged them for $15.50, it's crazy sauce. Both pieces are less than one piece full price, and they have pockets, which is why I love Fabletics. Calia by Carrie Underwood, oh my gosh, love that brand too. So whenever I'm searching, I always search for that, but I snagged a hat, found a nice maroon hat, and I thought, you know what, my hair needs some help these days, and that's exactly what this hat is doing. Calia by Carrie Underwood, or estimated retail value is $18, but I got it for eight. Thank you so much. Thread up. I used to wear a hat all the time and then I lost it. And that was like three years ago. So I feel like it's about that time <laughs> that I got a new hat. 
I got this and so much more. Look at all these lovely spring colors. You guys, it's Earth Month. Let's try to save the environment together by shopping secondhand, shop thread up. Every time I wear something secondhand, I save enough water to water 194 plants. There's some trivia for you. So if you wanna save money and save mother nature, shop thread up, use my code Kimberly to get 35% off of your first order. 35%, you guys run, check it out. You're going to love it. You're definitely gonna find something that you enjoy and who doesn't love wearing fun, new, crisp, fresh clothes. It certainly makes me feel a little better about myself. So let's run to the kitchen and uh, make some breakfast. I actually already ate something for breakfast. It wasn't brownies though, are you proud of me? It was chicken sausage. The most random thing. I don't know, I like leftovers for breakfast. If you meal planned with me the other day, you know that <laughs> I found some really good meals. All right, we're gonna make this for lunch, but I don't think I wiped off my counters after dinner last night. And then where's breakfast? Also, what's for dinner? Oh, oh here it is. Oof. Veggie loaded breakfast casserole. Breakfast is so tricky. It's like, I want to eat, but who really has the time? Oh, I saw a meme, it was like, aren't millennials inventive? They turned skipping breakfast into intermittent fasting. <laughs> Let me gather what I need. Oh, shredded potato. I needed shredded potatoes, that was in my Target order. Do you also wanna see what else I got from Target? I'll give you a peek, see. I got a couple of baskets. These are for the sand toys outside. And then, I don't know, canned. Oh, oh, that's, I'm making that tomorrow. So maybe I'll share that with you. <gasps> oh yeah, and then, you guys, I organized out in our grill area yesterday. Oh, I'm gonna share that with you too. Here are the potatoes that I need. I feel like I also need some deodorant. But I snagged this for Wolfgang. He's got a little something going on. Um, this had really good reviews and I always like Zerabee's. It is without menthol, but it does have the essential oils in there. So I think it's doing a really great job. And then I also, uh, I caved and got these boogie wipes because they were having a deal like, oh, if you spend this much money at Target, you get a $20 gift card. And I was like, okay. And then I bought a ton of water wipes because we we're I'm finally running out of them. How long th did it take me? He's almost six months old. I can't even lift the box up. I got two of these boxes. It has like 12 packs in there. How sad is it that I can't lift 12 packs of baby wipes? Anyway, I needed something a little extra, so I found these boogie wipes, and he has been having some boogies, and I was like, okay, it's just saline solution on a wet, but water wipe is so similar to that. I don't know, whatever. I got them. Mm, don't wanna talk about it. Oh wait, crap. I also <laughs> got these baskets for my closet. These are for the kitchen and I think that's it. That's the mess I just made. Oh crap, I need the potatoes. You know what I'm looking for? My drink, my cup of water. Does anyone else do this where their kid, I don't know. Okay, I don't, I feel like growing up, my dad always had a cup of water, left it by the sink. And whenever we would be thirsty <laughs> as kids, I would always just drink it. It was so convenient just to have right there. But now my kids do it to me and I'm like, don't drink out of that, I'm gonna get sick. That's how we all ended up with strep throat not too long ago. Fun times there, let me tell you what. Anyway, and now I'm looking for it. I'm like, where the heck is even my cup? And now I'm not gonna drink water because I don't have it. That's not a good enough reason not to drink water. All right, you gotta hydrate, purifies the soul. Perfect. So I think I have everything ready. It's basically a bunch of veggies. Oh, no, I don't have everything, I need eggs. It looks really nice outside. Look at those trees just blowing in the wind. Oh my God, the wind out here is amazing! Oh, gotta turn the fans off. Does the screen make you happy? Why am I inside right now? I need to be outside, I need to be hanging laundry. I need to be doing something outside. I'll just leave the door open so the outside can kind of come in here. I also love opening this slider too. Just let, it's like bringing the outdoors in indoors. I feel like a brand new woman. All right, I'm hungry. So I got the eggs. I also grabbed some egg whites. They're just like, I don't know why, they're healthier. Less cholesterol, less yolks. I should look into the why, more protein? Do egg whites have more pro, I'm doing it. But, speaking of laundry, I'm gonna go around and collect all the laundry. Sound good? I'm semi on top of laundry. At least I can say I'm not drowning in it. Okay, just gathered everyone's laundry. Oh, there is some in here. All right, well, I've seen worse. I'm just gonna throw some in. Yesterday, was it yesterday? What day is it? We spent so much time just going through laundry, separating, sorting, putting away. Because let me tell you, I did the day before, I was on top of it, I did 
Probably 20 loads. I might be exaggerating, but probably not. Okay, cool. One less thing to worry about. All right, <laughs> well, now we can finally get back to breakfast. Cheers. You're doing a great job. Well, it looks like we just cut up a bunch of vegetables, throw it together, and bada boom. You know, if only it were that easy. My knife is in the dishwasher. I used to never put my knives in the dishwasher, but my aunt was visiting, and she has Cutco knives, and I was like, do you put yours in the dishwasher? She's like, they have a lifetime warranty, why not? And I said, if she does it, I'm gonna do it. Let's get to chopping. I know what you're thinking, Kim, half an onion? Where did you even find that? Well, I ate the other half like an apple. I just couldn't do the whole thing. I'm gonna dice this up. Oh, I was just checking the notifications on my phone. Speaking of, I am waiting for my glasses to come in. They told me seven to 10 business days. It's been 12. So I'm hoping I get a text from them today so I'm able to pick them up. I'm just really excited Woo! about having new spectacles. I'm gonna cut up a couple bell peppers. I really like the combo of green bell peppers, but I didn't buy any. The combo being peppers and onions. Now that the veggies are cut, I'm gonna throw the peppers and onions into a pan. Don't mind my stove. I told you I didn't clean my countertops after dinner last night. I'm gonna throw all the veggies in. Well, the peppers and onions because these take longer to cook than the mushrooms and spinach and all that, and the recipe has me doing all kinds of crazy things, like cook the mushrooms, then take those out, then add the pepper. Like, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna cook them all at the same time, but different times, you feel me? But you better believe I'm gonna season every layer. I'm just gonna start washing the mushrooms. I like to just take a damp paper towel. Look how dirty, just one is. Pretty wild and crazy, that's nature. I love recipes like this too, they're super versatile. So if you don't like mushrooms, you can use zucchini or literally any vegetable that you do like. I've got 10 mushrooms here. And I'm just going to slice these up. You can dice them. I'm sure if you want more convenience, you can even buy them pre-sliced. Wouldn't that be simple? No skill involved at all. It might look like a lot, but mushrooms are actually full of water, so they'll cook down a bit. While the peppers are still cooking, I am going to mix together the eggs. So I'm using a whole pint, 16 ounces of egg whites. And then I'll add like four eggs for fun. The recipe calls for 10 eggs, by the way, if you wanna follow it. I'm gonna add one third cup, half and half. I love the smell of peppers and onions cooking. It's like someone ordered fajitas from Chili's. The recipe calls for hot sauce. I could use Frank's. I, I was really hoping to find some salsa verde salsa verde in here. I don't have any, I know I don't have any. Oh, I have a jar of salsa I can use. I also brought this out. I really like the green. I might crack this open, but what am I gonna do with the rest? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do it, the green salsa. I thought I would have like a jar of just green chilies. I don't know, about a third cup of that in there too. I'm gonna whisk this together. Oh, and add some salt and pepper. And it's time to throw the mushrooms in with the peppers. They're almost done cooking. I probably could have done this a couple minutes ago. But the mushrooms cook down really quickly. Just gonna add salt and pepper to this too. Season every layer, give these a mix. Here's another tip, if you're not huge on oil, this needs a little extra and I'm just gonna add just a splash of water in there just to get things moving along. So this is almost done cooking down. It only really takes a minute or two. I'm just going to roughly chop some spinach, a couple big handfuls and toss this in too, and I feel like the residual heat will just cook this up. More salt and pepper. I'm just gonna cover it with a lid, let it do its thing. So now I have this really large casserole dish. This is like a 15 by 13, I don't even know, let's check it out. Ooh, 15 by 11 and a half, weird. And the recipe calls for frozen thawed potatoes. Uh, you guys, I went to the grocery store, and then I did the Target order. No stores in my area ever have shredded potatoes like this in the frozen section so i went all out and i got this simply potato shredded hash browns and i feel like this is gonna be amazing you know my aunt told me she throws in her omelet she she'll make like an omelet in the microwave just because it's convenient and stuff she'll throw those potato sticks she's like i like potatoes in my egg but i don't always have them i was like okay macgyver take a peek on these veggies man I mean, if that doesn't make you wanna eat vegetables, I don't know what will. This is like my heaven. I love brownies, but I also love veggies. I'm gonna throw this over top. 
of the potatoes. It's supposed to be a nine by 13 dish, so this looks fantastic. I gotta take a picture for the gram. But wait, we're not done yet. We almost are. Really, it's just shredded potatoes on the bottom, cooked veggies over top, and then pour in some eggs. Oh, and then there's one more step, hold on. I'm wondering if there's enough hot sauce in there. You could add a jalapeno, ooh, that'd be real good. And then sprinkle some cheese over top. Throw it in the oven, 375 degrees. My gosh, that's heavy. My wrists are about to break. 45 minutes. I feel like this would be great to make ahead too. I'm thinking Easter, I'm thinking holiday, I'm thinking weekend, or meal prep. That's what I'm doing, really, just meal prep. I just took out some ground beef so I can throw together lunch in a little bit, even though I just threw breakfast in. It's like, you know, a girl likes to eat. But while the meat is thawing out and the omelet thing is in the oven, I'm gonna, I need to tidy this up, the mess that I just made. Also, put away the dishes from last night and uh, maybe take out the garbage and all that good stuff. And then we'll probably set the Ikea drawers up. I'm, I'm like weirdly excited about it. I've been wanting these drawers for a really long time, a year and a half, but they are always out of stock. And this time it said they were out of stock and I was like, I'm gonna look around. So I looked around like up and down the aisles and I found it. <laughs> all right, I gotta clean. Oh, and you know what I'm gonna do? Pump some jam. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Why it speed is stomping. What should I play? In the mornings when I wake my kids up, I've been jamming out to NSYNC and it is fantastic. Man, what a throwback NSYNC songs. But I heard someone playing something the other day and I thought I should listen to them more. But I forgot, I forgot who, I didn't make a note. I can't start cleaning until I remember who the artist is. I think it's a male. I'm not sure if it's country. I can't remember. Maybe it was Spice Girls. Play Morgan Wallen. Play Gavin McGraw. Okay, so I have to tell you, I finally figured out who the artist was that I was thinking of, and I don't remember how it came to me, but it was Dan plus Shay. Dan and Shay. I always say plus because that, it's whatever. But they, man, what a jam and a half. I know they haven't come out with new stuff in a while, or at least I don't think so. And you know what's funny? I used to be all up in the music, you know? But now I feel like I listen to the same stuff on repeat. Well, I don't know. I don't, I think I, I don't know, but I do enjoy music. I do like it a lot, but the new stuff, I don't have a clue. Don't ask me any questions. I used, I used to like music way more than I do now, but I do like how it pumps me up, gets me ready. If, you know, gets me through whatever I have to do, even waking the kids up for school in the morning. What a task and a half, okay? And if I just pump some music that I enjoy, feels like it's a little smoother. Just a little bit. Yes, I'm eating out of the garbage. Have we met? I threw some cookies away. They're getting really old and no one was eating them. And they're probably a week old at this point, maybe more than a week. And I was like, okay, time for the garbage, right? So then I was like, well, maybe one more. One more, one more for the road. And uh, it was okay, so I kept it out, I, I finished it. They were really good cookies, by the way, from the, from the beginning. Oh my gosh, and then I started um, emptying my dishwasher, just one less, sometimes, most of the time my kids do this, my girls, after dinner, but you know, sometimes the day gets away from us, so I just thought, let me do this for them. And I'm emptying it, but does, Anyone else, when they empty their dishwasher, is it like full of water and moisture? I've tried all the hacks like, oh, put a towel between and let the steam, like, no, I don't know. That doesn't work for me. And then I think there's a setting even on our dishwasher. Still water galore. I don't know. I think that's just part of, that's just part of the process. You know what else is part of the process? I feel like in the beginning of this video, I said, oh, I'm going to get my life together. Well, did I? <laughs> it's not really. Not really. I took steps to get my life together in the future. How about that? Like putting the drawers together for Alex. I'm looking at the drawers behind me. They're still there. Just the drawers. Nothing's in them. <laughs> so it's like step one on my way to helping him organize his closet. So maybe I'll get that done today. Maybe I'll film it and we can do it together. I feel like I need your motivation, inspiration. How are you feeling today, by the way? Hope you're feeling okay. I've had a lot of conversations with people lately where they're like new to the area and they had just moved, you know, down to Florida and they're like, the weather here is just so amazing. Isn't it crazy how much weather affects us? 
So I'm very thankful that I live in Florida, even though the summer times are miserably hot. But I still, we still have that sunshine and it's lovely. So can't complain here. Also, I have this tug on my shoulder to like line dry your clothes. I almost did it yesterday. <laughs> so I'm trying to put some of this stuff away. I figured. <laughs> Oh my god. Why? Okay, figured I would try to put these things away because you know what I did yesterday? I shared a lot more of it on my Instagram, but this drawer was absolutely atrocious and I tidied it up, getting ready for summertime fun. We're also hosting Easter, so the weather is, you know, it's like Florida, so it's always hot. So I figured we'll probably do ices on Easter, maybe even water balloons. And I went through these drawers. Oh, I forgot what was in here. The icy mix. If you saw my haul, you saw that I bought a million of these, uh, what are they called? Snow cone juice, snow cone syrup, all different flavors up in there. And then I have some for cotton candy. I haven't tried my hand at the cotton candy machine yet, but these were filled and not organized with a ton of bunch of balloons. So I took them all out of the boxes and they fit in this six liter Ziploc bag that I got from Ikea and oh my gosh, it's such a space saver. And then we have some bug spray and sunscreen down there too. Not much, most of it's inside, but just in case we need it. It is seriously so nice outside. So while uh, this little guy is napping, I think I'm just gonna sit out here. Casserole timer just went off and uh, I might enjoy a nice little snack before we do lunch and put the dresser together and stuff. This breakfast was good, it wasn't my favorite. I still love the breakfast enchiladas, which someone commented the other day, made these, not gonna make them again. Well, sorry, not everyone has the same taste, but maybe you'll like this one with the ha you know hash browns on the bottom and stuff like that. Maybe this is more your style. For me, breakfast enchiladas is where it's at, but we ate this. I figured, well, it's really nice outside. Is it too windy for you to hear me? I'm gonna bring these hampers that I just picked up from Target and throw the sand toys in here. It's just an easy way to corral them and there's holes so we can easily like knock out all the sand and stuff. And we, I actually went through the sand toys, I don't know, I go through them often, but um, we are needing some more because they just break so much. I'm trying to figure out where to put them. Well, of course, without fail, my camera's about to die, but these baskets, I wanted to say, they sell some for $4. Well, I'm back. Okay, so these baskets, they don't curve like the $4 baskets, so I splurged on these. They were like $12 a piece. I uh, may only need one for all the sand toys, but I figured I'd bring you out here. The view is lovely. Just being out in the sunshine, that vitamin D is so important for us. Being outdoors in nature, in the green grass, it does something to us. Okay, guys, it does. If you're ever feeling low, come on outside. It's the Florida sunshine. It just does so much, not just in Florida, by the way, but the Florida sunshine, oh my gosh, it hits different. So we're gearing up for our big Easter egg extravaganza, just trying to you know, keep this place tidy and stuff. So that's why I decided to buy these baskets to not make it look like such a chaotic mess, but I'm sure the kids will just dump the toys out and it will eventually just look like a chaotic mess. So <laughs> one step ahead of the bad guys. There is a story behind this. Isn't there always a short story long? Here we go. I bought this little system and now I'm thinking, oh wow, this, this might not be as big as I thought it was gonna be. It actually looks very small, but I can't get the taller one. Oh crap, I should. Oh, I don't know you guys. I, let's just put this together and if all else fails, if it doesn't work in his closet, this is a drawer. It's four drawers for his closet so he can put his clothes away because you know what he does right now? He doesn't hang them up. He just leaves them in his hamper. Just on this one, I'm like, I can't, like, I, I can barely put the baby's clothes away. I definitely don't put my clothes away. You guys see every time I do it, it's like once every other month. Just falling apart at the seams, basically. I can't do it all. So anyway, he's needing some drawers. I feel like that would be a good system. So I went to Ikea on the hunt for this one. But I also know, what is this, a zip tie? Ridiculous. I also know that the container store sells something very similar to this John Axel, and then we're gonna throw some drawers in there and it's gonna be great. And then on top, there's like a little tray you can put on top. 
So I don't know the price difference. The container store to me has always been like crazy expensive, but it's so weird. You know how you see something once and then you see it like 20 times and you're like, is this a sign or am I just noticing it more often now because I saw it one time. Anyway, I have seen people get the container store drawers a bunch of times over the course of a day. Wait, this definitely isn't right. So anyway, I was at Ikea, so I bought the one from Ikea, and during the voiceover while I'm putting it together, I'll tell you the price difference because honestly, I'm curious to know too. But I knew I wasn't gonna drive to the container store, so for me, it was more convenient to get them from Ikea. I mean, there's like four pieces. How can this be complicated? Famous last words, I know. So I thought this was going to be uber simple, but it turns out I like put it together upside down. I don't know what was happening. There's like a million extra pieces to dock it to the wall. I'm like, I'm not doing all that. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so there are two systems. I looked them up. The John Axel is what I bought from Ikea. And then the container store has something called Alpha. Pretty sure it's the Alpha. They are very similar in size. The one from Ikea, uh, the one from the container store is slightly bigger. I'm talking inches, okay? Final price. Are you ready for this? So Ikea, you have to get the frame and then the drawers. There are two separate drawer options. I got the more expensive ones. It's just a dollar more per drawer. I thought they looked a little bit more quality and whatever. So, um, and then there's an option for a top. So the whole thing from Ikea, $60 for this whole thing, including the top. Are you ready for the container store price? The Alpha brand, it what? It is a grand total of $185 without the top. And then the top, if you want it, is $25 extra. So needless to say, I don't know quality difference. I'm hoping the one from the container store is like leaps and bounds quality is better, but I can't be sure. <laughs> I'm sure I told you, but if I didn't, I, uh, I put it together upside down. I also didn't know the drawers pulled out that way, but uh, hopefully this fits. Oh, what do I, do I slide it on? That's not gonna work. Why do I need directions on how to put a top on? And click. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, that, that was not worth it. I brought the second one. I might as well put it together. Now that I know that most of the pieces don't make sense. Well, uh, bad news, this is not the right one. This is a different size. So another trip to Ikea is in my future. Hey, I got some stuff to return. I'm also kind of upset because I was really looking forward to that. Oh well, maybe next week, probably not. But this one, I'll have to see if it even fits in his closet or the linen closet because we really need one in that linen closet because the kids just shove all the beach stuff in there. Well, I throw that, but then they, all the bathing suits that don't fit them, we keep them for extra kids that come over and all that stuff. So th it would really be nice if this fit in there, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to. All right, well, the skinny one definitely would. Problem with that is I didn't buy the right drawers <laughs> for that. So let's just make lunch and forget about all of this. This is why it's such an effort to get my life together. It's just nothing ever goes as planned and there's always setbacks, but. Where's my recipe? Okay, here it is. See, I tried to do it in the same thing. I was like, I'm making this and then I'm making this. So I might as well put it together, but then I forget that I put it together and I waste my time. So what do we need for these baked beef and bean taquitos? Mm, they look so good. Oh, at first I thought I was making the noise with my knee and I was like, I'm not even moving my knee. It's the electricians, they're here today, ah, but also, oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Not with the electricians, with our contractor. 
<laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, because we just spent an hour with the electrician saying, we want X, Y, Z, light switches here, blah, 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 TV, posts, whatever. And then, do you know what? Do you know what? Can lights are not in the plans, not in the blueprints. And I said, okay, what is in the blueprints? Oh, just one fan with a light. That's all that our contractors are covering. And then we have to cover the rest, which makes no sense. Their rooms are massive. You just want one light in there? And we said, oh, we, oh, I don't mean to be ungrateful. It's just always something with the, con it doesn't make any sense. There's can, we said we wanted to match the rest of the house. Can you please make sure we have can lights everywhere in the house, in the bedrooms. We don't have any fans with a light. Doesn't make sense that they wouldn't be added to the plan, but since they weren't added to the plan, they're not covered with what we're paying, which is already an obscene amount of money. So that's my little tidbit. <laughs> But I am really happy that they're uh, they're doing stuff out there. I just, I know that we're going to have to pay extra for a lot of stuff, okay? It's one thing after another. I am excited about lunch. I just need a couple of things. Corn tortillas, cheese, and refried beans. Beef. Beef. Refried beans. Did anyone else notice? I guess the cheese was not shut all the way, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> it dropped my camera. And then we're gonna need some spices. I'm gonna start off by cooking the ground beef. Once it's all cooked, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion powder. You can probably just use like taco seasoning, but I'm just gonna do this. Some garlic powder in here, chili powder, and some paprika. Oh, you know what else? Cumin, that'd be good. We'll let those spices heat up and come alive. Come alive. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good soundtrack to clean to. The Greatest Showman. This is the greatest show. I jam out to that one in the car. And woo! And then I'm gonna pop in a can of uh, refried beans. And this one, ooh, Al Natural. This one has green chilies in it, and I feel like that's a great addition of flavor. But if you don't like the spice, you know what to do. This is looking good. Once it's all combined, I'm going to start wrapping them in corn tortillas, the filling. So the trick with the corn tortillas, oh wait, the cheese. Let's add the cheese in here, shall we? Just a nice big handful and then let that get melted in. All right, I could dig it. So I'm just gonna take a few of these corn tortillas at a time and wrap them in a damp paper towel. The sink is so convenient. And I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for 30 seconds, just so they get a little pliable and they won't crack when I go to roll them. Crap! Crap! <laughs> wow! <laughs> now I'm gonna take these and fill them up with the filling. Ooh, minimal crackage. And then I'm gonna throw them on, oh, well that one cracked a lot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw them onto a sheet pan with parchment paper. I'm gonna spray this with cooking spray, the tops of these, and then I'm gonna throw them in the oven 400 degrees for about 15 minutes, and my kids are gonna have a banging after school snack. These are not working out very well. I don't know if I got a, the wrong kind of corn tortilla. I, you know, usually this works out with the damp paper towel in the microwave, but as you can see, it didn't work out today. Cracks galore, but I will tell you, it tasted delicious regardless of the cracks, you know, but we eat with our eyes first, so if you're displaying, you know what I mean? Like the kids are like, what the heck? But I'm like, just close your eyes and eat it. And they're like, mm, that's good, you know? So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need a different brand of tortillas when I'm getting at. I feel like they would taste just as good, maybe less crunchy if you had the flour tortilla. I did get like the Mission brand. So I thought I was doing great. I feel like I splurged a little bit there on the better tortilla. I don't know. I did my best. They came out fine. Were they picture worthy? Food Network magazine worthy? It debatable, you know? If food is food and it tasted good and I'm spraying it on the top with the the Pam spray, any kind of spray that you have. And that just makes sure that they crisp up a bunch on you and they're gonna taste real good. They're gonna give you that mouth feel, that crunch. And then I'm just trying to tidy up my mess the best I can. Nothing is perfect, but I needed to wipe up all of this excess cheese and crud all over my countertops. Clean as you go is what they say. 
Who do you? Okay, so clearly this worked out in my favor. She's beauty and she's grace right here. Do we have any that turned out decent? I have some cilantro, maybe that'll help. All right, I've got one hand here, some cilantro. If I wanted to, I could put some onion on this. Maybe some tomato, hold on. Is this the pretty side? Is there a pretty side? I grabbed the ones that weren't completely busting out the seams. Still pretty cute. <laughs> so there's lunch, nice little after school snack. A bon appetit. Is this what it feels like to have your life together? No one, all right, smells good. No one brought their baskets in. I'm just gonna fold this load of laundry real quick. One singular load. I'm sure if I looked hard enough around the house, I'd be able to um, find more laundry to wash. But I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look very hard. Cause I don't want to. Oh, I'm so full. We were just playing by the sand and I was just thinking. I forgot what I was saying. I think um, we were outside and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I have to make dinner soon. Do you ever feel like you're just in the kitchen? All day long. With enough food for the masses, that's how I feel. But pretty sure today's brownie Friday, Friday. So I'm gonna whip up some brownies, maybe. Didn't do anything extravagant for the brownies. Sometimes it's just a box Ghirardelli mix in a pan and we're good to go, you know? I do, I am, I regret to inform you <laughs> that I have fallen behind on laundry yet again. Well, isn't that the circle of life? It's the circle, the circle of life. Lion King, one of the greatest movies ever made. Actually, is it? It's real sad, as a matter of fact. It's And it also like Scarf, Scar? Uncle Scar? Come on. Anyway, so I was going to grab all of these baskets here and start organizing my closet until I remembered there is no light in my closet. I mean, there is, but it's not turning on very much. It's very sad. And I don't really know what happened. One day they were working, I mean, I know what happened, the bulbs are burning out. I don't know what size they are, I don't know how to reorder them. I, how do you figure this out? I gotta get a ladder up in there? Like, what do I think I am? You think I can just like climb the shelf and then figure it out or guesstimate? What do I need, just to measure them? And then how am I gonna put them up there? So many questions. There are so many questions, very little answers. I need light bulbs. Also, why are there just like dangling wires? Oh, this can't be safe. But remember when I decluttered this portion of my closet? I don't need any of it still. I don't even know what any of it is, but I have some baskets to conceal the chaos. So I guess we'll do that next time. <laughs> Real question, do you ever get upset that you can't remember like certain chunks of your life? Like years of my life, I try to think back and remember, like well, what kind of things did I do? What kind of memories? And I can't conjure up anything. I, want, I always wonder too what my kids are going to remember from their childhood. I don't know, just a random thought, I'm just saying. Here we are. So I was making dinner this night and kept it super simple. Initially, I had plans. I was like, I'm gonna film what's for dinner, but then I realized, oh, I didn't take anything out. And sometimes it's just easy to either one, eat leftovers, eat what you have in your fridge. Some nights we, <laughs> some nights, castle. I don't know any of those words. Anyway, um, clearly I'm needing help or sleep or both. What am I talking about? Oh, dinner. Sometimes it's nice to just grab something out of the freezer. And you know what I grabbed the other day? Because some days are just wild and crazy. And then by dinner time, I'm like, I just, the mental energy I have is um, negative 5%. So <laughs> I just grab something out of the freezer. And the other day we had um, cauliflower pizza from Costco. It's like cauliflower crust pizza and then it has veggies and stuff on top. I think it has pepperoni too. Sausage maybe. I don't know. But two pizzas, it's around $11. And I'm like, this is amazing. It fed my family and they were happy because <laughs> it was just simple. And I was happy because it was simple. And uh, sometimes convenience wins. And convenience for me also means affordability. And 
that equates to not getting takeout because my gosh, takeout is so dang expensive. You know, as your family grows, it just gets more and more expensive. And then as your family gets older, they like want their own thing. And I'm like, oh, what? Like a 50 platter of nuggets isn't going to do it for you. You need the special stuff. So you get me. You understand. So anyway, um, the pizza was looking good. I was jamming out to Lauren D, Lauren Daigle, and then whatever songs came on after her. Just this. Oh, and I cleared that corner. That's the main attraction. I cleared that corner out. It was riddled with papers. Most of it was garbage, so I recycled it. And I just needed like, oh, it was just like a cluster, a fire zone for me. And this was dinner. Okay. I got them. Buy one, get one free. It was the mac and cheese, Cracker Barrel mac and cheese from Publix. Buy one, get one free. Everyone was happy. Boom shakalak. All right. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Good news, bad news. I didn't get a text from Costco, so no new glasses. I was really hoping to share that with you. My fingers are crossed for tomorrow. We're having some people over tomorrow. It's like, have you met us? And, um, I have, I, you know, if I'm going there for glasses anyway, might as well pick up some produce, maybe a veggie tray. I've really been enjoying the pea pods. Maybe I'll just make my own dang veggie tray because it seems to be so much more affordable that way. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick up some peas, like snap peas. They're so good. Sugar snap peas, mm. That's probably why I like them because they're sugar. Anyway, don't forget to check out Thread up. You can get 35% off if you use my code Kimberly. My link will be in the description box below. I know you're gonna find some gems. I'm always happy with the finds that I find. <laughs> I'm tired. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.